uh, of all of the things that Sam really collected and he liked, what, what was the most unique? Oh, there are so many things that are here. Uh, personally, I think that these four vehicles that we have here with the ultralights for the 1943 glider program, um, these four are very unique. Um, that's what makes this museum different than any other museums that I've been in. Well, let's kind of walk and talk sure. here just a little bit. T tell me about this Chevrolet here. All right. Well, first off, the military uh, wanted something to go in the gliders that was a little bit lighter. So they asked for a set of vehicles to be under 1,300 pounds and air cooled four wheel drive. Chevrolet made two of these. It has an Indian motorcycle engine in it, uh, which is very unique in itself. Wow. Um, it has a transverse uh, leaf uh, suspension in the front. There's some really interesting technology that, that you can see that the military and the different companies came up with. I can show you a little bit more on different uh, vehicle we have over here. Kaiser came up with this version and uh, there were two different versions of this, but this one had a Continental uh, aircraft engine in it. There were six of these that were originally uh, delivered to Aberdeen for testing. Crosley made this version, and uh, there were uh, 36 originally, and it had a Waukesha engine in it. You can see that a little bit of difference. And then the last one in the, in the series here um, was a Willis. Willis made six of these. This is the only one we still know in existence. And it's got a Harley Davidson engine in it. So in the early part of the war, they were really after something that would fit inside of a glider. That's right. That was air transportable, but yet then could get around on the ground. That is correct. Did any of these actually see service? No, these, these never made it in the service. And I have some pictures that we have in one of our displays over here from Camp Forest during the 1943 maneuvers where they actually had the full-size Jeeps inside the gliders. And uh, they went on in with that series, you know, of course, when, when we jumped over into Europe. Wow.